Richard Burton, well known for his strong presence and ability to play different roles, is still remembered in the entertainment world. His talent and charm impressed people for many years. Many of us saw him first in his famous roles and those performances stayed with us. Whether he was on stage or in movies, his acting was memorable, showing how skilled he was. Can you remember when you first saw his work? Share your stories and memories below. Stay tuned for more interesting, funny, and touching facts about this great actor. Keep watching. Richard Burton made a lasting impression on the film industry during his time and beyond. His performances displayed a wide range of talent, capturing the attention of audiences both on stage and in movies. He influenced Hollywood with his strong presence and ability to take on different roles, leaving a lasting effect on viewers. Throughout his career, he challenged traditional ideas about acting and brought depth to each character he played. His skill in making people feel deeply and keeping them interested solidified his reputation as one of the most influential actors of his time. Besides his individual performances, Burton's contributions to Hollywood were significant. He worked with well-known directors and actors, improving the quality of the films he was a part of. His work paved the way for future actors and contributed to the way stories are told in movies. Burton's influence went beyond the screen, shaping how people see things culturally and leaving a strong impression on the entertainment industry. His impact continues to be felt by audiences, inspiring admiration and appreciation for what he brought to the world of film. In conclusion, Richard Burton left a significant mark on the film industry during his time and beyond. His talent, versatility, and influence continue to be celebrated, making him a memorable figure in Hollywood history. Richard Burton's portrayal of Marcellus Gallio in The Robe marked a significant point in his career. Interestingly, he considered it his least favorite film despite his exceptional talent. In an interview, he mentioned The Bramble Bush and Ice Palace as his least preferred works. However, his role in Where Eagles Dare proved to be a major success, marking his last major hit at the box office. Conversely, The Wild Geese achieved success in Europe but failed to make a big impression in North America. Additionally, his performance as George in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf reunited him with Elizabeth Taylor and garnered Academy Award nominations for several involved in the film's production, including the costume designer and composer. His diverse roles and work in cinema continue to be remembered and appreciated in the entertainment world. In Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? His portrayal of George stands out. Interestingly, despite his strong performance, he didn't win the Oscar for this film. Instead, it was the wives of the competing couples who took home the award. Moving on from his college days, he spent time at Oxford during World War II, setting the stage for his acting career. Despite plans to return to finish his education after the war, he chose acting after being demobilized. Almost 30 years later, he returned to Oxford as a teacher, sharing his poetry knowledge with undergraduates for a semester. In My Cousin Rachel, he played Philip Ashley alongside Olivia de Havilland, who was notably older by nine years. Despite the age difference, their performances together left a lasting impression. These insights reveal his journey from a promising cadet at Oxford to a respected actor whose talent resonated across age differences. In 1976, Richard Burton caused trouble by writing an article about his close friend Stanley Baker, which made Baker's widow very upset. Also that year, he played Petruchio in The Taming of the Shrew, which led to disagreements with the director Franco Zeffirely, but people loved his performance. In 1976, he took on the role of Martin Dysart on Broadway after Anthony Perkins. He smoothly moved from theater to movies, making a big impact in Hollywood that still lasts today. His work on stage and screen is remembered as very influential and talented, shaping entertainment. Richard Burton, celebrated for his remarkable performances both on stage and screen, demonstrated his versatility through various projects. From recording sessions for The War of the Worlds in New York during breaks from filming to his first appearance on stage in Wales, he showcased a wide range of talents. His role as Antony in Cleopatra left a lasting impression as he later gave swords used in the movie to Frankie Howard, who kept them by his fireplace. Despite finding some works less enjoyable, Burton's talent shone through in successes like Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and The Taming of the Shrew, demonstrating his ability to captivate audiences in different mediums. From his early stage days to his roles in memorable films, his impact on the entertainment industry lives on, 
Richard Burton, known for his powerful performances on stage and screen, left a long-lasting mark in the entertainment world. His ability to play different roles show what his amazing talent impressing audiences worldwide. Despite facing difficulties, he stayed Kamalankritted to his work, trying new things in his career. From his early days in Wales to his famous role as Antony in Cleopatra, he showed what he could do many different things. His work in movies and theater is still admired, inspiring actors for years to come. His influence on culture is big, with his work still enjoyed by audiences today. In short, Richard Burton's talent and love for acting continue to inspire people everywhere. Renowned for his compelling performances on stage and screen, Richard Burton made a lasting impression in the world of entertainment. His ability to inhabit diverse roles showcased his extraordinary talent, captivating audiences worldwide. Despite facing challenges, he remained devoted to his craft, exploring new avenues in his career. From his early beginnings in Wales to his iconic portrayal of Antony in Cleopatra, he demonstrated his versatility and skill. His work in movies and theater continues to resonate, inspiring actors for generations. His influence on culture remains significant, with audiences still enjoying his performances today. In short, his talent and passion for acting continue to inspire people around the globe. Richard Burton's portrayal of Philip Ashley in My Cousin Rachel received mixed reviews. Despite his youthfulness at 26 during filming, some critics believed he appeared too mature for the role. Nevertheless, his performance captivated audiences with its depth and complexity. In 1979, a film titled Love Spell, also known as Tristan and Isolt, was produced, yet it lingered in obscurity until later years. Despite the anticipation surrounding its release, the movie failed to garner significant attention upon its eventual unveiling. However, his dedicated fans praised his portrayal, finding solace in his enduring talent. Notably, he made headlines in 1969 when he acquired one of the world's largest diamonds for Elizabeth Taylor, his second wife, after an unsuccessful auction bid against Cartier. The 69-carat diamond, famously dubbed the Burton Cartier Diamond, captured global fascination. Its subsequent journey from Taylor's possession to an auction for the benefit of a hospital in Botswana underscored their philanthropic endeavors and lasting legacy. Despite occasional controversies, his influence on both screen and stage remains indelible, his contributions immortalized in the annals of cinematic history. Richard Burton made his Hollywood debut as Philip Ashley in My Cousin Rachel, receiving attention despite mixed reviews. He wore built-up shoes both on and off screen, adding to his height. In Alexander the Great, he transformed his appearance alongside other male cast members. Throughout his career, he seamlessly moved between theater and film, leaving a lasting mark on both. Despite occasional controversies like disputes with directors such as Franco Zeffirely, audiences consistently praised his performances. His acquisition of the Burton Cartier Diamond for Elizabeth Taylor showcased his generosity and influence beyond entertainment. Despite criticism for his portrayal in My Cousin Rachel, his talent and dedication to his craft remained undeniable, shaping his memorable Hollywood history.